Here, take this. You might need it. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Do 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 do. Hey guys, it's Sailor Drew, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Stardew Valley. So I'm just gonna jump right in really quick and check out the weather report. It's gonna be sunny tomorrow. Uh, living off the land. This one's for you folks living in Stardew Valley. Check the spring onion southwest of town where the river meets the ocean. Or check four, not the. <laughs> you can sometimes find a whole bunch growing right out of the dirt. Okay. And our fortune for today, feeling neutral. All right. So really quick continuity issues. I had a lot of trouble with some recording that I was doing. Um, the first time I sat there and recorded, I did a pretty large batch recording. And when I went to go check, there was no sound. <laughs> and then I started to record again. And I was like, okay, like, you know, I just had to start over and kind of get my game up to where it was. And I recorded like half of a day. The sound was there for about 30 seconds. And then it's, and then the sound cut out. So I don't really know what was happening with that program, but my husband's pro, uh, my husband's computer does have a secondary program that he used. So I'm using uh, what he used, which it, it kind of bums me out because that other program, like I paid money for that. And I hate the fact that it's like, kind of the same thing with like fraps that happen where they just kind of refuse to update it for the longest time, especially with the Windows 10 update. And I was like, I paid money for this. Like, why aren't you guys updating anything? And they're just like, kind of never responded. Um, yeah, so, oh well. Thus, you know, it's, it's the life of a recorder, I guess, a YouTuber. So I have backed up my files <laughs> this time though, so that way I don't have to start over for like a third time. Um, yeah, so that way I can just replace the save file. So I did try and get us back up to kind of where we were at as close as possible. Like, like the field isn't as sporadically all over the place because I was cleaning up the grass with my hoe because it had been so long since I played the game that I just totally forgot what I was doing. I was just like, I don't know, crazy person. Uh, but we got a piece of mail, looks like. Robin here, I know there's a lot of stones scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, you might consider having me build a well for you. Wells can be placed all over your farm and serve as convenient places to refill your watering can. Just swing by my shop with 75 stones and 1,000 gold when you're ready for it, Robin. Which is extremely tempting because our closest like little pond is down here and it's kind of a pain. I mean, eventually we'll upgrade our watering can, but still. Also with my snafus, um, I, my snafu recording <laughs> sessions, I did figure out why I wasn't seeing any seeds on the ground and it's because they've been retextured. This is a pine cone retextured as a yellow flower. Ah, so nice. Here's another one. Uh, so yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> the white flowers are the acorns, or no, I'm sorry. The pink ones are the acorns and the white ones are maple seeds. So, which I don't really see a lot of. Um, and I've gotten most of every clean, everything cleaned up just that I can because I do have to have an upgraded ax to take care of these larger bits of wood laying around. Ooh, yes please. Oh, here's some maple seeds. And some cleaning up to do. I'm looking for acorn. It just always seems like I'm always at a deficit with acorn seeds. Like I'll have like a million pine cones, but no acorns and a couple of maple seeds, but that's okay. All right. So because I do need the energy, especially since I'm sitting here kind of cleaning up everything, I think I am going to cut down some of these trees as well on the grassy areas because yeah, it looks nice, but I don't necessarily want so many just because they are taking up areas that we might be able to get some forageables growing in on. So yeah, we're going to have to take care of that. Um, so see, I do have some acorns in my box over here. 
And so I'll just go ahead and make some granola bars out of them. I'll keep the dandelions on me as well, just because they are a good source of energy. They don't really sell for a whole lot. I mean, like 40 gold each, which is kind of substantial, but I need the energy more than I need, you know, to sell them. So, because I do have sap and other things, which actually, let me go ahead and make some torches. We did have some torches previously, and I just never replaced them. I also want to try and get the bridge down by the ocean repaired and it takes 300 gold so hopefully I'll be able to um, I'm sorry not 300 gold <laughs> 300 wood so hopefully I'll be able to get that done um, I think I'm gonna bring the field over one more so that way it's like rows of three because that's kind of like if we can stand in the middle and we can water things if we can make things easier for ourselves before we get the watering can upgraded, then that'll be a good thing. So I'm going to pop up here, and since I have issues with finding acorns, I'm going to go ahead and cut down these oak and maple trees up here. These grow back without you having to plant seeds to have them grow back. They grow back in the same exact spot. So it just kind of takes them a while, but it's a good way to replenish your trees if you accidentally went crazy and cut down everything, which eventually we will end up doing just because we will start to do some buildings on our farm, start making some pathways, things like that, and it's just easier to kind of make sure that you have all your trees cleared. That way you can kind of plan out where you want them to grow and make it all kind of like super pretty looking so I'm also not really sure who we haven't and have met so we might accidentally be meeting new people again but that's okay you guys will just have to bear with me as we get caught up but for the most part I think I got everything out of the way that we needed to but uh, it looks like Clint is looking for 15 copper ores which I'm going to go ahead and accept, so that way another quest is able to- Oh, hi, Elliot. <laughs> oh, we hadn't met him yet? Oh, no! <laughs> that makes me sad. Alright, uh, so we've met him now, though. And here we are at Pierre's. I'm going to sell my sap that I got off of those trees. And go ahead and buy some potato seeds. I might as well buy a tulip seed. Just because tulips- make um tulips and jazz seeds are not really like a great return on your money per se but they make great gifts so everybody loves flowers except for the flowers that are kind of more weeds those are a bit iffy i think there's like only two people that like them and that's evelyn granny and this lady who lives in the desert she loves every single flower so you can hand her some weeds and she's totally fine with that which is nice but this is the bridge that i was talking about that we need to get repaired yeah 30 pieces of wood mm, okay well, i have 68 on me now but i have no energy but that's okay because we'll eat some granola bars eat some dandelions maybe and we'll be right as rain I do want to check down and see if there are any spring onions growing, just because I haven't really found any yet. I did go down there whenever I was uh, getting the game caught up, but they hadn't come in yet, so... Oh, there's Jazz. Have we met Jazz? No. Okay, well now we have. Hi. She says. <laughs> She's shy. She doesn't like new people, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get her to warm up to us eventually, so it just uh, takes time. Kind of scary meeting new people, I guess. <laughs> Especially, like, in small towns. Like, um, so I'm from the south, and it's just really common that people kind of don't really like new like uh, newcomers. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe it's just uh, the places that I've been. All right, so we're going to sell that shell. And, oh, we can make, I could plant these seeds and make some more trees, but it's not like we really have a deficit of trees. They're just all kind of crowded around 
things that are preventing them from dropping seeds a lot. So, oh, I do need my watering can as well. So we'll take care of that eventually. It's all, all in due time. Oops. I also did notice that as I was going through and uh, doing that batch recording that I was actually kind of falling into this old pattern that I get into sometimes where I'm like, okay, I'm going to be hyper efficient and do everything perfectly and it's going to be great and, you know, I'm not going to have a single moment wasted in the day, which is fine in theory. However... It didn't make for such a, I mean, like I kind of enjoy doing that because I'm competitive with myself, but I was like, you know what? Like, I know that some of you have never seen the game before, played the game before. So I didn't want to sit there and make it like this huge thing where I'm like being like hyper competitive with myself and, you know, kind of like go, 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 go. <laughs> so it kind of worked out that I had to re-record. Um, oh, here's Linus. I can't remember if we met him last time. Uh, a stranger? Hello. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. What's up, Linus? Nice to meet you. Linus is somebody else who is kind of shy, but it's really rewarding to make a friend in him. So, not so much like monetary value, but kind of like rewarding of the heart. <laughs> oh, there's some bubbles right there. Too bad I don't have my fishing rod on me. This is the mountain lake. So there are two lakes in Stardew Valley. And this is the second one because we've seen the lake one. Oh, there's some guy over here cleaning up that landslide, it looks like. So hopefully we'll be able to go mining soon. Say hi to Robin. You're always welcome to visit us, even if you aren't shopping, you know. <laughs> How's the farming business going? Is par it's pars a parsnip season, right? Par parsnip. Parsnape. Yes, it is. Uh, and we'll swing around just because who knows what might be growing up here. Near this old dilapidated building. It's so cute though, even though it's run down. <laughs> I really do love this texture pack. Uh, let's go ahead and clean this stuff up. Maybe we'll get some seeds out of here. Ooh, one. So, in the beginning, whenever I first started playing this game, if my inventory was ever full, I would chuck the seeds. And I have learned over the time that that was a horrible mistake. Because the mixed seeds are amazing. They are actually, um, mixed seeds. Uh, like it says, but... What it's a mix of is the seeds that are available for this season. So these could be like cauliflower or potatoes or, or jazz seeds. It could be anything really. So we won't know until we get planted. And yeah, it's just kind of throwing away free money essentially. So definitely don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and get this one watered and planted. So those ended up being parsnip seeds. And again, I do have a mod that is, um, that lets us know what the crop is if we hover over it with uh, clicking the right mouse button. So potato, parsnip, potato, potato, cauliflower. Okay, yeah. So we did get some cauliflower from some other mixed seeds that I got off of the farm from clearing away bushes and stuff. So. So those take a while to come in, but they do sell for a lot. So that'll be nice when it does come in. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put those in there. Um, You know what? Actually, can I make? I can. I can make wild seeds. So let's actually pull that out. You can only pull out the last item that you put in. So uh, one, two, three, four. So you can do this in any season after you learn the recipe for it. But for wild seeds, you need one of each item for the season. And it makes 10 seeds. And these actually... Um, I think these are seeds for like the forageable items. Which you do need a lot of... Um, oh yeah, see, wild horseradish. 
you need them for quests and stuff, plus some of the items that are forageables, depending on what time of year it is, are actually the favorites of some of the townies, so they're really good to give us gifts. But more than that, they're actually a really good source of early game energy because they don't really sell for a whole lot. So it's actually better just to keep all of the forageable items that you get whenever you're running around because, let's see here, so these sell for 40 gold and again that's actually kind of a good deal but the others don't sell for as much and even the higher quality stuff, like if it's got a gold star or a silver star, they don't sell for much more than their base price. But the energy and the health that they replenish does go up. So that's kind of a big deal. Um, I do have some energy. So I'm going to go ahead and just start chopping down some trees and thinning out some of our trees. Because again, we do need the wood to repair that bridge. But I also want to make sure that, um, you know... We're trying to get as much out of our trees as possible. So whether that be wood or seeds. All right, and then let's go to sleep for the night. Okay. Farming, foraging, fishing. Eh, 30 gold. That's not bad, I guess. <laughs> kind of broke, aren't we? Uh, so, all right. So it's Friday the 5th. Let's check the weather. Hopefully it's raining tomorrow. No, it's sunny. Stardew Valley. Uh, the fortune is good. Oh no! <gasps> crows! Damn you, crows! Ugh! Dang it. They totally like just decimated our crops. <laughs> so we're gonna need a scarecrow. I hope that we're able to make them soon because it is a recipe that we have to learn through progression. Uh, okay, wow. Oh, jeez. Oh, I hadn't even... Oh, getting started. Oh, I did... Uh, whenever I got the fishing pole from Willie, it was raining. And I did catch an eel, which Emily actually wanted. I was not anticipating actually getting an eel. And this... See, again, this is why you should always accept the quest. Because you never know if you're actually going to be able to fill it or not. There have been so many times where I've said no to a quest and, like... 10 minutes later, I got the item that they were asking for, like, randomly, and I'm like, oh, like, I should have done it. Okay. Which is good, because we are super broke, so we really needed that. Uh, getting started, so this was the quest where we needed to grow a parsnip from the seeds that Lewis gave us, so we were able to get 100 gold off of that, so that's good. Uh, archaeologists need to go see what that's about. Uh, Robin... So, um, she's a local carpenter, she lives up north, and now the game is wanting us to build a coop, which we're actually going to wait off on. We need a silo first, so that way we can start gathering hay to feed our animals. Uh, oh yeah, okay, so new quest, a scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking on your precious crops. Freaking jerks. Uh, we only have one more day for this... Um, this quest for Clint, but I highly doubt we're going to be able to fix it or finish it because today is the last day to turn it in and there's no way we're getting 15 copper ore, but that's okay. All right. So man, we have like a lot of bare uh, spots. I'm going to go ahead and chop down this little sapling because it's kind of in the way. Ooh, and there's a seed there. I'm going to chop this one down too. I don't like to have trees in the way, really, so that way I can't see when things are grown or if I accidentally missed a watering spot, so yeah, I usually, oh, rock. So I usually try and clean those up. Oh, there's a maple seed right there. Probably clean up some of these trees too, just so that way the trees aren't so crowded. But, so we're gonna head into town and sell our parsnips. Although, I would like to keep one of them because 
for the most part, people like to receive vegetables as a gift. And Lewis's birthday is coming up. So I am going to try really hard to actually hit everybody's birthday. So, which I'll do like really good for like a couple of them. And then I'll totally forget to check the calendar and I'll miss everybody else's birthday during the month. So it's like <laughs> whoever's birthdays are like at the beginning of the month, like they're the lucky ones <laughs> while everybody else kind of like, yeah, I kind of forget about unfortunately. Which, and speaking of birthdays, today is my birthday. So, yeah, birthdays abound. And this is all I want to do today. I just want to play Stardew Valley for my birthday. Although, I am going to spend some time with my husband. Because I know he's going to make me a cake and stuff. And we're going to have a good time. But I just want to relax. Like, so much has been going on lately that I'm just like, ugh. Like, like I just want to relax and just not do anything. And just veg and... And be in my little imaginary farm world. Like, is that all? I, is that too much to ask for? But I do have to run around and take care of some things. So, especially for my husband, he ended up getting injured on the job. So, we're having to deal with that. And I have to run up to his workplace and hand in some paperwork and stuff. So, I was really looking forward to not doing that today. But, oh well. That's okay. Adulting. It happens. So... Plus, I don't mind helping my poor husband out. Okay, so our, uh, to our Value Jojo Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain. Like, oh, so they did finish it. Okay. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal pursuant of some made-up bullshit, it sounds like. <laughs> Responsible steward a stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. Morris, Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative. All right. So we might actually be able to go mining. So let's rush into town, sell our seeds, and then immediately run up there because, um, oh, Except for the fact that there's a cutscene. Man, it's a busy day today. Okay. Oh, hi there. Hi, Lewis. What you doing? What an eyesore. Yeah, it kind of is, but it's still pretty cute. <laughs> this is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now just look at it. It's shameful. What happened? Oh, these days the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. <laughs> Those damn millennials. LOL. I can say that because I'm a millennial, so. <laughs> but listen to me. I sound like an old fool. Jojo Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. No, we won't let that happen. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to the relics of the past. Ah, uh, well, if anyone else buys a Jojo Co. membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. <sighs> Here, let's go inside. Okay, let's see what this place is. Adventure. I love it in here, to be honest, before it gets fixed up because the ambient noises are so soothing to me. Like the wind blowing and then you like hear like the wind chimes and everything. Like I could just sit in here all day. Hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. Maybe. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Ah, it's an apple. And he's got... Arms and eyes. What? It was an apple. That had arms and eyes. What's the matter? Are you ill? No, it was an apple. <laughs> you saw something? Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. <laughs> ah, there he is again. The apple. And now he's headbanging. banging. 
You're worrying me, Drew. <laughs> Hallucinating. <laughs> Look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. He was like, oh my God, get me out of here. I'm, I'm alone in this building with a crazy person. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. It wasn't a rat. It was an apple. It had arms and legs and, an, and a mouth and eyes and yeah. <laughs> I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Indeed. Okay, well, I mean, since we're here, I might as well just run in here really quick. So, even though I said that we were on a, a time crunch today. Yeah, so this is like the, this little mysterious little hut. A lot of rundown buildings. Or buildings. Buildings within buildings. Oh, and there's, <gasps> there's an apple. And a glowy thing. Which we can't read. So, that's fun. <laughs> Who knows what it means? So mysterious. All right. Well, that's that for now. We'll kind of take a better look at it a bit later, but I do want to see if we can rush through and finish up Clint's, uh, Clint's quest. So Willie wants a small mouth bass. He wants, oh, he wants two of them. And we would get a hundred gold and we would get to keep the fish. So temptation. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and buy out as many potatoes as I can. And then now we're going to run up to the mountain. And if anything, I mean, so Clint is the blacksmith who we have not met yet. And his shop closes really early from what I remember. I, it either closes at like three or four. I think it's four o'clock, which is kind of frustrating sometimes whenever I'm like trying to rush to him really quick to get him to do something and he's already closed shop. However, today is Friday. Oh, hi Linus. Oh, he doesn't want to talk. All right. Well, I always talk to people anyways. <laughs> Please don't destroy my tent. Oh, we wouldn't do that. It's happened before. Oh no. Yeah, we definitely wouldn't do that. Ooh, but there is a leak up there. So we're gonna run over there and snag that. Uh, but it's Friday, and somebody mentioned in the town, probably on my live stream or some point after. It looks like an Ewok. I think this looks like an Ewok. I think it's a war point. Um, I think that's what that is, because you get like these things that teleport you to different places in the game eventually that are like crazy expensive. Um, but yeah, it makes me think of an Ewok. Um, but yeah, it's Friday night and people are going to be down at the Sloan because Friday is fun day, apparently. <laughs> hmm. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there. But a dark place, undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Ooh, mysterious. Here, take this. You might need it. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Do 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 do. He received a rusty sword. Awesome. Name's Marlon, by the way. I ran the Adventurers Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. Cool. I hope there's like a members only jacket. Okay, so number one slot. Do, 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 do. Yay, my hot bar is complete. Okay, so let's see what's down here. Rocks. <laughs> and so what we're looking for is a ladder down. Boom. Which is usually like nine times out of ten hidden by a rock. So, I love the music in the mines. I just love it. I, I really do. I love coming down and just spending all day digging. Just because it's like really, really soothing. And I really love the music and stuff. Um, and some of the game groups that I'm in, I did see some people kind of comment about how they feel like um, fighting monsters and stuff is kind of hard for them, as well as fishing, which I did comment on uh, previously, I think. 
but it just takes practice. Like I was really bad at fighting too, and it's kind of hard to go back to kind of these games that are kind of a throwback to the older formats where you go up, down, left, right, you know, and um, kind of like on a 2D surface. And because we're not used to these type of games so much anymore, unless, you know, you specifically kind of look for these kind of uh, retroly inspired games, um, it's, yeah, it takes a little bit of getting used to. So I'm uh, starting to feel exhausted already. Yeah, I definitely don't think we're going to be able to do Clint's um, quest. So I'm just going to have to start uh, swinging less, like taking out like more, uh, less uh, rocks. And our first slime. Have at you, slime. And there's some quartz right here. And some chestistas. Um, okay, so our inventory is already full. Okay, so let's eat the leek. And I did see another slime up here, as well as some more quartz. Quartz is a good, oh God, he's got crazy eyes. <laughs> oh, and he dropped some green algae, which I would rather have than wood, even though I do need wood. Actually, I would rather have the wood than stone. Although, ugh, decisions, I hate this. Okay, so stone because we're actually going to have a lot more stone coming our way just because we're running around down here. Um, so yeah, I need to kind of... Ooh, man, we are kind of lucky today, aren't we? Because it's not always a guarantee that a monster will drop a ladder down for us. And yeah, so that's another reason why it's important to watch... Or, yeah, watch TV first thing in the morning so that way you can see how lucky you're going to be for the day. Because that will dictate... Oh, ding! And our journal updated. Deeper into the mine. Seems that the mining elevator is still functional. It will allow you to quickly return to any elevator doors you've discovered. A deeper expedition might be in order. So now we need to try and reach level 40. Which we're definitely not going to do today, but <laughs> it's been updated, so there you have it. Okay, uh, okay, I really want that bug meat, but because it sells for for an okay price, it's nothing to like write home about. But every little bit of money helps. But yeah, if I'm gonna get back to town in time before the saloon it closes for the night, like I need to start concentrating on finding ladders faster and ooh <gasps> ooh and uh mining ore so ooh nice this, this is actually kind of like <laughs> abnormal <laughs> I'll take it though oh oops um So how many did he need? He needed like 17 or something? Gathering? Oh, 15. Yeah, I guess 15 would make more sense than 17. <laughs> oh, crazy eye slime. Oh, that slime looks like it's yellow. That's weird. I wonder if it's just the lighting or if it's actually yellow. I've never seen a yellow slime before. Oh, and it drops sap. Oh, maybe that's why. Okay, weird. Hmm. All right, so we have 13 bits of copper. I'm really hoping to find some more copper really fast. Um, so here's some. I might just start ignoring the slimes a bit more. Oh, ding! That was a nice little sound, which means that we've got our 15 copper. Oh God, I'm gonna die if I to, if I ignore these guys any longer. So. Um, but I do have a bit of green algae. Oh, well, might as well, right? It's here. Ooh, more. Oh, and I see the, the, uh, the thingy. Okay. All right. Ooh, 
Ooh, hardwood. Oh no, what do I want to sacrifice for hardwood? Nothing really. Except for the geode, I'll take. Okay. Yeah, the hardwood. Ooh, and there's a chest. Okay, so let's drop that and see what's in. Ooh, leather boots. Do 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 do. Man. What was our luck today? Because I feel like we were like crazy lucky today. Okay, so we're just going to take the elevator back up because I need to run to town and see if the saloon is still open. But yeah, that was a pretty good haul. Like I, I'm shocked at like how lucky we were because normally, yeah, like it's, it's a, oh, there's a leak there. I don't have time or the space. Dang it. <laughs> we really need a bigger bag. I hope the saloon closes at 11. Oh, look, people, they're leaving already. Um, which I was also hoping to get in there. Oh, there's a daffodil too. Before everybody started to leave because Friday nights are a really good night to meet everybody because a bunch of people hang out there. Oh, sweet. It's still open. Uh, 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 Clint. What's up, Clint? You brought the ores I requested. Great. I like to inspect local ores from time to time to keep track of quality and abundance. Let me just take a look at these. Hmm. I see. Thank you. You can keep these ores. They're of decent quality. And here's your payment as promised. Awesome. Er, hi, I'm Clint. Yeah. <laughs> we know. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm on your way. Or I'm on your way. Pfft. I'm your guy. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm a crazy person. Um, yeah. So it looks like most of the younger people have left. Don't you have work to do? Dang. Harsh. What's up, Pierre? Oh, he's leaving. Business has been slow since Jojo moved into town. It's hard to compete with our selection. Oh, that sucks. I know, man. Those big box stores. Handling salty fish all day makes me real thirsty. <laughs> all right. Okay, there's Lewis and Marnie. Marnie doesn't seem to notice that you're there. All right, well. It's simpler to be friends with the trees. They don't have much to say. <laughs> I love Leah. Uh... Hey kid, the name is Pam. Hey Pam, I think we're meeting you for the second time, but oh, I guess. Give me another pint of your strongest. I guess. Well, hello there. I'm Guess, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Yes, nice to meet you again. Ah, spring, the season of pastels. I actually prefer jewel tones myself. Oh, excuse me, I was mumbling about fashion again, wasn't I? Yeah, I got a new sprite to mod. Emily with because I don't and again everything I'll make critiques about how things look you know it's <laughs> it's said with the utmost respect to concern Dave because again I do love this game like I love this game and the way it looks and everything um but that being said <laughs> however no there is no however um it's just that oh man we seriously rocked it today. I'm gonna sell all of my quartz though, and I'm gonna keep everything else. Okay. Yeah, Emily's dress, it always looked like it was about to fall off of her or it was like super big and frumpy. Just, I don't know why. I think it's just something to has something to do with like the movement of the sprite whenever she's walking. So yeah. That's a thing. All right, let's head to bed because we have like no energy and nearly no health left. <laughs> so I'm glad that that worked out and we didn't bite the dust. Um, but let's see how much everything sold for. Oh, thank goodness. And now we can make a scarecrow, which we will definitely do tomorrow. We can also make basic fertilizer. I'm trying to remember what that takes. Like, I wonder if it's like easy to make because that'll be nice if we can fertilize our fields. Sometimes fertilizer isn't necessarily worth it. Like it's definitely not worth it to buy it unless you go to like a specific store at a specific time because <laughs> then it's a little bit cheaper. But yeah, I'll have to check that out. Hmm. Grand total of 145 gold, which is not bad. Um, I also have that gold that Clint 
offered us for that quest that we completed for him to accept out of our quest journal. But yeah, that's going to be it for this time, guys. Please let me know in the comments down below how you're enjoying the series so far. And hit that like button as it does help support this channel. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And until next time, take care, guys.